Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. It's episode 5 and in this one I'm going to be completing all of the scenes around my backlot tour ride. Along with that I'm going to be revealing the names that I've chosen for both this ride and also our Mediterranean entrance to the park as well. Uh, so stay tuned for those a little later in the video. Um, so yes, in the last episode we built the first two scenes on this tram tour. I must say I really like it so far, it's got a nice character to it but both of the scenes that we've had so far there have been things sort of going wrong so with this one it's going to be a bit more of a just a general lively scene uh, instead of lots of sort of action taking place it's going to be uh, like a pirate village what I'm going to go for just here as you can see I've put in the bridge just there that the tram will pass over I've actually built that into the track uh, we've got like a little uh, bit of water down there now all these hills going in around the outside just there and you'll see that I mess about quite a bit here with the lake and move it there and put it a bit further back again it's all experimenting with this game and uh, yeah in this we'll complete the tram tour uh, I say complete I mean I might go back like I say and add more bits uh, a future uh, in a future episode but for now I'm gonna be quite happy with it at, by the end of this episode and we'll sort of move forward and build another attraction uh, for episode 6 in the next one I'm actually gonna start building uh, a, an indoor dark ride I'm gonna go with a Tower of Terror style ride system I'm going to use that whole elevator uh, style ride and do the first dark ride inside this park but so uh, yeah it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode to be honest I've had so much going on uh, I've hardly been at home so playing planet coaster obviously it takes up a lot of time to build parks especially when you do them heavily detailed uh, I don't want to rush this park at all I'm loving doing it I really like the feel of it so far because it's something different I normally do themed areas and this really isn't about themed areas it's more or lots of different rides all coming together and as much as everything follows the same sort of color scheme and design in this entrance area it's all a bit Mediterranean obviously the entrance to the tram tour and things but uh, yeah you know I am gonna go a bit different with the other areas not everything's gonna follow the theme uh, of other rides around it and um, but yeah you know I just want to make sure that I'm doing things right so I don't want to rush the park and uh, yeah episodes will go online as and when there's uh, no set dates for Let's Play Planet Coaster. I try and get one out a week, uh, but it's all oh, just drop my mouse. <laughs> and I try and get one out every week, but uh, it's not guaranteed. But uh, yes, anyway, back to this. So you can see here, uh, it's coming on quite quick actually. Plenty of rocks around there, uh, some trees, a bit of landscaping around, just to give it a nice sort of traditional pirate village feel. I'm uh, going to put a few like animatronics down here as well. And uh, this is going to be another scene, a bit like my whole uh, sort of Catastrophe Canyon style scene that I did in the last episode uh, this one's not gonna have any camera equipment around or anything like that whereas the first scene was like an active film shoot so to speak uh, the, and that's gonna be the same with the finale scene that you'll see uh, once I've uh, done this one just here as well but uh, I like putting things nice and close if you notice that I like putting things nice and close uh, to the track just there it just makes it a lot more interactive and also uh, I've managed to keep things quite fair with what's happening on the both the left side and the right side of this one as well because obviously you want to see action on both sides don't you really and uh, it's the same with this finale scene you'll see it both uh, on the left and right hand side of the tram that's something that always gets me when I ride it at Walt Disney Studios actually because you want to be getting into the seat first so you're on the left hand side obviously for Catastrophe Canyon uh, but if you want to be like in the London Underground scene uh, then you want to be on the right hand side and now uh, talking about that London Underground scene obviously there you've got like a, a train bridge what's collapsed and this here is not going to copy it but I've sort of been used sort of been inspired by that really and uh, used it for a few examples this isn't going to be like a, a London set I'm doing here it's just a generic town but yet again this is going to be a live set and it's going to be the most action-packed one I want lots of fire here uh, yes a couple of explosions but more like a constant burning as the train passes we'll have like this bridge what's collapsed uh, the train bridge is not part of the building down uh, you'll see me do that in just the next couple of minutes as well and uh, yeah it's quite got quite a dark theme this part here after a nice happy uh, sort of pirate village so obviously that was used maybe for a pirate film obviously probably not Pirates of the Caribbean but uh, yeah you know probably used for one of them generic uh, rip off pirate films that last scene but uh, yeah it's more about taking you through these four different set pieces just to show you really how how sets are built and that sort of thing really and that's my whole design with this one 
just making sure that I get the uh, clearance right just there. Uh, obviously, on rides, they actually have something called a clearance envelope, and they'll actually put it around the track when they're building theme in, and they've done that quite a lot at parts like Grunelund, where there's a lot of rides next to each other, and just any coaster where theming gets quite close, really. And uh, not just coasters, other rides as well. I can have like a theming envelope where they hold it open and see how it is. It simulates basically the train, uh, a rider sitting in it with their arms up and out to the side and all that kind of stuff to make sure the ride's safe. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, it gets close uh, when the carriage passes underneath, but uh, it's not too close either, you know, it's just enough space for it to pass through uh, just as I want it to. As you can see here, some more little buildings going in, lots of random buildings that don't really have a meaning to be honest uh, on this tram tour, but that's what it's about, it just adds a bit of character to the area, uh, gives it a little bit of sort of texture really and builds it up just a bit there as well. Uh, quite clever what I'm doing here, I'm using the back of the buildings from the first scene to actually enhance the finale scene uh, just here as well. And now you can see me just messing about there with this collapsed train bridge. Basically the scene here, we're filming a live shoot in two halves. So the first part of the shoot will be on the far side just there, where you'll see that it's all collapsed. That's what I'm working on just there, obviously all train supports and ra just random stuff. With something like this, when you're doing like a scene where something's sort of crashed or has it been destructive, then you can just sort of go with the flow with the theming really, chuck random poles in, all kind of random stuff. And that's exactly uh, what I'm doing here. And uh, what I'll be doing shortly as well is putting some more pillars all the way across few little windows and stuff there. It's a shame that we haven't got any more smashed windows that we could have used there really. But uh, yeah, just giving that effect that this whole bridge has collapsed just there and it started to fall into the building. Again, making sure that that clearance envelope is uh, right there by moving pillars and things. And you'll see in a moment I get it completely wrong and I put them right, right in the way so I have to uh, move them a bit further back. If only it was that easy in a real theme park, eh? I'm sure there's a few people that have actually watched this video have either worked in theme parks and uh, either even designed attractions. You know, I know a few people who do watch the videos. Uh, there's a high out there too if you're watching and uh, I'm glad you enjoy watching the series. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying building this park up. Like I say, uh, I will come back and add more details of this after this episode. Uh, maybe later on once the park's open, I might shut it and change a few bits. But uh, there we are, we've got the crashed, uh, well, the squashed tram carries that I'm putting in there subtly. I'd like to do more with that really in a future scene, but for now, I'm gonna sit that right there. Uh, and that lorry moves out, uh, it's like an animatronic, and then goes like out on a track. However, I do actually remove that, and you'll see that in a few minutes' time, and replace it with something else. There's like a car, what I'll put in instead, uh, that I think fits a lot better for that one. But uh, there you go, keep your suggestions coming in for this part. Like I say, it's gonna be a dark ride next. I can't wait to put it in, really excited to build that one. Probably gonna span across two episodes again like this one. Obviously it's not gonna take up much space, but it's more the details, because with this ride, it stops in about four or five locations. And uh, yeah, it means we're gonna have to build scenes for those. I might even do a Tower of Terror and have two of them next to each other to increase the throughput and also make the uh, building look better as well. So if you've got any suggestions, keep them coming in for that one. Uh, it's more gonna be about uh, like the, my own unique theme instead of it being based on a movie. Uh, well then after that I'm going to do a couple of movie based attractions. I've decided that I'm going to do a boat ride themed to Jaws, uh, a bit like the one that used to be at Universal. Uh, over in Orlando, so I'm going to do something similar to that, but a little bit different. I'm going to have like all the little Amity Town and things, but do it a little bit different this one with some more state of the art effects. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that one in a few episodes' time. Just pointing out there the windows, I really like how the glass you can see through, it's so realistic this game, they've done a fantastic job of it. And uh, you see that in the shop windows just there, all the fire effects. I mean, that's what I want with this scene. Big, impressive, lots of things going on, lots of smoke. But like I say, it's a live scene that's been recorded. Then two ones in the middle, they're sets what have been used before, whereas this one is like a brand new set, what has been built just for this production. And on the voiceover as you're coming around on the tram tour, it'll all be about, here we go. So you're here today for the filming. It's a live film shoot. We need to see your reactions, all that kind of stuff. A bit like the old tram tour, what used to be in Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. I absolutely loved that it was brilliant and uh, comment below if you went on it share your best memories from that uh, because yeah I absolutely used to love it it was just the fact that you felt like you're in this real live action scene and uh, yeah it was brilliant 
You can just see me putting a few more details in uh, around there as well. As we uh, come to the last few minutes of the episode, uh, quite a short one this, like I say, uh, time has been one of them things that I've not had much of, so much going on, I mean, what have I done, I mean we've been to the Isle of Wight, we went to Black Gang China and Robin Hill, we went to Paulton's Park, that's been the latest stuff, what I've done, them videos will be coming soon, just before that we went to Brighton, them videos are all coming on the channel over the next few days, uh, all sorts, leading up to the big opening of Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I'll be riding it for the first time on Saturday, uh, going on that next week and then we've got the press event the week after and the main opening as well so there's so many videos and then I'm going out to Cedar Point so there's so many videos but I try my best around going out to the parks filming vlogs filming TPW Weekly which is our new series that goes online every Wednesday evening uh, unless it was like this week where it went on a little bit late but like I say there's been so much going on for the channel uh, there's been more videos go online on Theme Park Worldwide this year than any other year in the channel's history and it certainly is going to slow down because we've got so much planned and I'm currently working on uh, what I'm planning to do for Halloween as well and there'll be some really good stuff this year the return of Screen Park worldwide more Halloween attractions than ever before we're going out to Florida for Halloween we've got some other bits to come as well and uh, yeah I can't wait to share it all with you guys later in the year just a few more details going in just here and whilst I'm doing that let's talk about some names so over the past couple of episodes I've asked for you guys to name the attractions and areas everything's been named by fans of Theme Park Worldwide people who watch the videos uh, here on the channel so here we go I've decided that the main entrance area named the park. Now, originally I wanted like a, a, a Spanish style name that would really fit with it. But then I thought, hang on a minute, it is the entrance area to the park. Uh, so I've gone with a name uh, called Backlot Lagoon. Uh, I really like that one there. So thank you very much for sending that one in. Uh, Backlot Lagoon for the entrance area to the park. Obviously we've got the lake just there. I plan on doing some shows. I know this sounds a bit silly, but you know at Disney, if you've ever been in the park, they go, it's time for the lights to distinguish around the lagoon. I can imagine that plane just there. And uh, also the tram tour. And now with this one, we've got four scenes on it, maybe some expansion in the future, but I've got journey behind the cameras uh, that's been suggested in the comments. Uh, so thank you very much to Regan uh, for suggesting that one. Thanks to both of you uh, for them brilliant names. And uh, yeah, keep commenting below your suggestions now. There's nothing left to be named yet. Comment suggestions for what I should theme uh, this next dark ride to. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching another episode. Like I say, it's only a short one, but I'm trying my best to get them out there as quick as I can. But at the same time, I don't want to rush this park. I'm loving it so far. I feel like it's a lot more detailed than Volcano Springs. And I can't wait to uh, go into more detail with it with a huge dark ride. Look at that zoomed out just there. It's full. It's action packed. There's not loads of trees and things between areas. It's all together. And it certainly does look like the Studios Park that I first imagined five episodes ago. Thank you very much for watching this video here on Theme Park Worldwide. I hope you enjoy watching these as much as I enjoy playing the game and, of course, making them. And stay tuned at some point in the near future for another episode here on Theme Park Worldwide. I'm John Sandbrook. Thank you very much for watching. And from Let's Play Planet Coaster, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later, guys.